This is the Cessna Citation CJ2+, the upgraded variant of the venerable CJ2 that challenges the very boundaries of its class with its impressive range. Foremost is the switch to Williams FJ44-3 A24 engines, utilizing FedEx, which produce an extra 90 pounds each and eliminated the need for thrust attenuators. As a result of this greater efficiency, the aircraft enjoyed a range and speed increase over the original model. Additionally, while the CJ-2 featured the Proline 21 avionics, the CJ-2 Plus version is fully integrated. Thus, there is no longer a separate flight management system, navs, and comms. The aircraft has been well received in the market for its balance of performance, efficiency, and cost, and has found its place in corporate fleets, charter services, and among owner-operators who need to step up from turboprops or smaller jets. Its versatile range and payload capabilities combined with the ability to operate from shorter runways, have made it a highly practical choice for a variety of missions. The production ceased in 2016, however. The plane continues to be a popular choice in the used aircraft market. But with evolving technology and new entrants, does it still hold its ground as the long-distance champion of light jets? Stay with us till the end of the video because here is everything you need to know about the Cessna Citation CJ2+. Stepping inside, the cabin measures 13 feet 7 inches, or 4.14 meters in length, 4 feet 10 inches, or 1.47 meters in width, and 4 feet 9 inches, or 1.45 meters in height. While these dimensions might not seem extraordinarily spacious, the thoughtful arrangement allows for the efficient use of the available area. While the galley is not as elaborate as what one would find in long-range jets, it is pragmatically designed to offer basic amenities. Typically, you'll find storage space for snacks and cold refreshments, as well as facilities for making hot beverages. The standard seating configuration generally consists of a Club 4 arrangement accompanied by two additional forward-facing seats, totaling six main cabin seats. The seats are fully adjustable, featuring high-grade leather upholstery and retractable armrests. They can swivel, recline, and are usually arranged in a way that allows for ample legroom, especially considering the jet's size category. The advanced environmental control system offers excellent air quality. The cabin pressurization system keeps the cabin altitude relatively low, usually at around 8,000 feet, when cruising at its maximum altitude of 45,000 feet. The CJ2 Plus is equipped with standard communication and entertainment features, including Wi-Fi connectivity and individual audio controls at each seat. The cabin noise levels are impressively low for a jet of this size. While you'll still hear the engines during takeoff and landing, the noise significantly drops off once cruising altitude is reached, making for a relatively serene environment. A private, well-ventilated lavatory is situated at the rear of the cabin and offers essential functionalities, including a flushing toilet and a wash basin making it practical for the short to medium flights that it typically serves. When it comes to storage, the plane offers a total baggage capacity of 65 cubic feet or 1,850 liters. The internal storage is somewhat limited, but the jet features an external baggage compartment that can accommodate larger items, including golf bags and skis. Now let's step into the cockpit. The CJ2 Plus boasts an ergonomic design that aims for functionality and pilot comfort with its width measuring approximately 5 feet 1 inch or 1.55 meters, pilots have reasonable space for maneuvering. The seating is adjustable and provides sufficient lumbar support, catering to long operational hours. The star of the cockpit is the Collins Proline 21 avionics suite. The PFDs and MFD are presented in three 8 by 10 inch high resolution LCD screens, large enough to offer excellent clarity and brightness. The FMS in the ProLine 21 is a fully integrated system providing robust navigation capabilities. It offers features like V-speed calculations, real-time flight optimization, and advanced flight planning functionalities. Enhanced situational awareness is facilitated through features such as synthetic vision technology, traffic collision avoidance system, and terrain awareness and warning system. The avionics suite is coupled with a reliable autopilot system, which can manage a variety of tasks, including altitude hold, vertical speed control, and lateral navigation. There is no auto throttle system, 
which might be seen as a limitation for those used to having this feature. Dual comms, dual navs, and dual mode S diversity transponders offer redundancy and robustness in communication and navigation. The system is also compatible with ADS-B out, which is essential for operating in controlled airspace. From a technical standpoint, the avionics suite supports WAES and LPV approaches, allowing for greater accuracy in navigation. Furthermore, it has capabilities for real-time weather data, facilitating dynamic decision-making in flight. The system is also provisioned for future next-gen system updates, making it somewhat future-proof. The cockpit is also well insulated, minimizing engine and wind noise. The forward visibility is excellent, provided by a well-designed windshield that offers panoramic views. Side visibility is also good, although the support pillars can cause minor obstructions. In terms of accessibility, the cockpit is designed for quick entries and exits, which is particularly beneficial for pilots who may need to vacate the cockpit quickly in emergency situations. Additionally, there is adequate storage space for flight manuals, charts, and personal items essential for operational convenience. Now let's talk about the engine, performance specifications, and how it flies. The CJ2 Plus is powered by two Williams FJ 443 A24 turbofan engines with a TBO of 4,000 hours, each producing 2,490 pounds of thrust. These engines also include FADEC for simplified engine management. The aircraft requires 3,360 feet or 1,024 meters of runway to take off at sea level on a standard day. The engines allow a maximum rate of climb per minute of 4,120 feet or 1,255 meters and a maximum cruising altitude of 45,000 feet or 13,700 meters. The plane has a maximum cruise speed of 418 knots, with an average hourly fuel burn of 140 gallons or 530 liters. The jet has a maximum range of 1,780 nautical miles, which is 2,050 miles or 3,300 kilometers, and a minimum landing distance of 3,000 feet or 910 meters, with a maximum net payload of 1,670 pounds or 760 kilograms, and a full fuel payload of 880 pounds or 400 kilograms. The base purchase price for a new CJ2 Plus is $7 million before options, and the charter price is estimated at $3,000 to $5,000 per hour. Naturally, prices will vary depending on availability, fuel prices, ground fees, and more. While the annual fixed cost is roughly $300,000 to $500,000, the average hourly operating cost is estimated at $1,500 to $2,500. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.